Actually, I was listening to the podcast and I was thinking to myself, are our voices far enough apart? Yeah, I think they are. Like people can tell the difference. Yeah, I sound crazy. <laughs> and you're the one that laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> well, so this is a podcast about you sounding crazy and me laughing. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> and food. We like food. And architecture. And architecture. Because, fun fact, food generally occurs within architecture. <laughs> My favorite thing about architecture is restaurants. Your favorite thing about architecture is the food within. That's right. <laughs> what are three things you want people to know about your new podcast? The time it airs. Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. How much I need them to listen? That's okay. Literally, it airs whenever they listen. <laughs> the time, the, the <laughs> minute it goes live. <laughs> okay. What are three other things? <laughs> Okay. Um, what if we started a podcast about architecture and food? Hey, that's our two favorite things. It is. Who should we get to do it? Like like us. Oh. Like now. <laughs> <laughs> like this. <laughs> Made from what's left. <laughs> we don't even need an intro. In a minute, I'm Anita. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had a theme song. We have one. <laughs> this is Rebecca, and you're listening to Made From What's Left, The Random Bits. Hey, Roy. Hey, Peach. So what is this? We're supposed to record a trailer for our new podcast. Uh, what? Uh, how do you record a trailer? I always thought a trailer was for pulling boats. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, what's that? <laughs> what a trailer! It's for my podcast. I'm Peach. She's Roy. This is made from what's left. I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> Because you didn't get to say your own name? No, you just sound angry. Uh-huh. <laughs> she sounded angry, didn't she? I'm Paige. She's Roy. This is important. <laughs> Architect. Ing. They say writing about music is like dancing about architecture. <laughs> they do say that. <laughs> what do they mean by that, though? <laughs> Can we just talk about architecture? We just we just did and food. Three episodes worth. All right. <laughs> Wait. Writing about music is like podcasting about architecture. <laughs> <laughs> hey Peach, what's your favorite thing? Architecture. Oh. No, that's so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Not having a headache. Um why does podcasting give me a headache? Endorphins. Podcasting is not for the week. <laughs> but this is taking a week. <laughs> <laughs> made from what's left. Don't clap your, your hands. Punctuation. Made from what's left. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those little emojis with the little hand claps. <laughs> made from what's left. Made from what's left. <laughs> That's where the claps go. It's not between the words. Isn't it? No. <laughs> Made from what's left. We should get Rebecca to record our trailer. Oh, let's. Which one? So these two ladies. What? Ladies. These two women <laughs> called me up one day. And they were like, yo, we're doing a podcast. And I'm like, hey, what's your podcast about? And they're like, architecture and food. And I'm like, mm, whatever. <laughs> and they're like, come down. We'll feed you a candy once in a while. <laughs> For your troubles. <laughs> Not even a good one. Not even a good one. <laughs> we'll give you the most questionable candies. We'll keep you away from your dancing with the stars or whatever it is you do. And you can produce our podcast. <laughs> I like this little narrative. I know. So this one day... I sent you a text, Uh and I was like, we should make a podcast. And I was like, yes. And I said, the podcast should be about architecture. And I said, but also food. 
And then I was like, well, I wasn't really going for that, but I could kind of see it. Because you knew that there would be food. <laughs> <laughs> so we did. And here it is. Well, smack dab in the center of the prairies is a little town. A whole lot of problems. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard of Winnipeg? I have. Have you heard of Winnipeg? Made from what's left. Is that the hot new <laughs> podcast? <laughs> Why did you laugh? So- <laughs> Are we doing one of those iPods? <laughs> Have you heard about this podcasting thing? No. Hey, Roy, want to do a podcast? Sure. About what? Well, I think probably we... 30 minutes. <laughs> about three minutes. 30 minutes. Hey, Paige. Yes, what's Roy? your new podcast about? <laughs> 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry. All I could think of was that scene from You Can't Do That on Television. With like the slime from the ceiling? Hey, Peach. Hey, Roy. You know, in the lockers. Oh, just keep going. You're doing a great job. <laughs> I'll just do it all. Let's talk about brew <laughs> to list. No. <laughs> Let's talk about no nope. brutalism. <laughs> brutalism. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh no. Uh, are you familiar with the comment that? Are comedy. you familiar with the concept of nominative determinism? I'm only familiar with the concept of nominative verbs when learning German. <laughs> <laughs> it's the theory that you are drawn to careers. That go with your name. What? Yeah. Nominative determinism. Nominative. Nominative. Nom- nominative. 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 Determinism. De- determinism. So if your last name was Baker and then you opened a bakery, or if your last name had field in it and you worked in agriculture. <laughs> Just saying. Like your name. Where do I go with- First names too. Like you could have been an author or a librarian. <laughs> or an architect. <laughs> do you deal with a lot of pages in architecture? Giant pages. <laughs> we call them sheets. <laughs> sheets. <laughs> Why isn't your name Sheets? Well, some people call me that. <laughs> oh, that page. She's the Sheets. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <gasps> the St. Regis Hotel. Leif Norman says. Is it Leaf or Leif? I thought it was Leaf, but I work with a Leif. I've known people who use that spelling and use both. Is it interesting to you that it's a synonym of page? <laughs> A leaf? <laughs> You're a dork. Pretty I'm, positive. I'm a dorkable. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Cue the music. No. I'm kidding. <laughs> what do you want to do for a cold open? Um, I have in my hot little hands the Winnipeg Technical Vocational High School song. Okay, every time you bring out a song, there's a lot of huzzas and sisboombas. But I have oh. nothing here for you except for sheet music. Where with pride. <laughs> okay, this is a, an interesting callback. Where with pride, the green and gold. Mm-hmm. So when I was in the musical at Glenlawn. <laughs> that you didn't sing in. I was the gatekeeper in the whiz. And you did not sing. Gatekeeper of Emerald City. I borrowed a Tech Voc marching band <laughs> uniform to wear in the musical. Of course you did. Cue the music. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, grab park, grab park. I don't know how to read music, but this I looks know. good. Yeah. Craftsman, she is molding. Scholarship unfolding. Well, this is actually kind of clever. It's great, actually. I really like it. Why don't you read it, and then we'll decide whether we keep it all. Wear with pride the green and gold of Tech Vok High. Let her praises echo to the sky. Craftsman, she is molding. Scholarship unfolding. Citizens of Canada, her creed will never die. Through her teaching, we will survive. Oh, through her teaching, we will strive towards success. Wisdom will assure true happiness. <laughs> I made sure that rhymed. <laughs> In drama, sports, and music, too, we'll show the world what we can do. Let's cheer for Tech Vakai. 
T-E-C-V-O-C, watch the green and gold. T-E-C-V-O-C, ever strong and bold. High her standards we will ever hold. And scene. Don't you think, <laughs> cue the music. Uh, Words and think, music by Fred A. Merritt. Don't you think that uh, it's interesting that. That's a good school song. Tech Vok is a she. I thought it was interesting she was a she, like a boat. She's a boat. Is a school like a boat? A school's a boat. Well, Calvin. And a boat's a she. Is a boat. Calvin is a boat. Calvin is a she. <laughs> You heard it here first. <laughs> All schools are gendered. <laughs> the Grant Park Pirate could be a she. We don't know. We don't know. It could be Polly Pirate. Yep. Priscilla Pirate. <laughs> Prunella Pirate. Pyretta. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, what's next? I don't want syrup on a stick. You know what's funny? I've never had syrup on a Neither stick. Neither have I. Young Rebecca wants the world to know that syrup on a stick is good. I was watching a thing where... I bet you syrup not on a stick is good, too. I think the trick with syrup on a stick is that the syrup itself has to be boiled, correct me if I'm wrong, to a soft ball yes, stage. Yes, and the snow has to be not yellow. Correct. So I was watching a thing, and people were doing the syrup on a stick. Mm-hmm. And there were like big signs if it were like, don't touch the snow, don't touch the snow. And so they were showing a family how to do it. And so, of course, they touched the snow. Oh. But then also when they went to like eat the syrup on the stick. It was full of dirt. They were like, like visibly like goobering into Yeah, the I snow. mean, like, have you ever, have you ever melted a pot of fresh snow? It's not clean. It's full of dirt. It's not clean. I mean, maybe the dirt's good for you, though. Well, it's fiber. Okay. So, are you going to wear that mustache for my whole show? My mustache is very I feel like this is the Hulk Hogan hour. (laughs) It's falling off. I cannot smile. (laughs) I was going to say, how do men keep mustaches on? But I guess they're like... They just don't smile. They grow out of their skin. No, they just don't. They can't smile. Explains why (laughs) men are so angry. You can over your microphone. (laughs) (laughs) Why men are angry. (laughs) I would be men too. Men seem so was... uncomfortable. Yeah. I have to ask you how. Yes. Okay. You know, you know, like OMG. Mm-hmm. Do you know how old OMG is? Like, oh my God. Or just the abbreviation? The abbreviation OMG. Oh, like. 37 years old. So what would, what year would that be? Because I can't math. Ooh, I can't math either. <laughs> I'd say like 1985. Okay. So it's older than that. Okay. Really? Yeah. I thought it was like a Valley Girl invention. No. Okay. Who invented OMG? Well, I don't know who, Im- I don't know who invented it, but the first written record uh-huh. of OMG uh-huh. was in a letter written to Winston Churchill in 1917. No. And they, the, it was written, <laughs> it was written by Lord Fisher and he actually wrote O.M.G. And then defined it in the letter. Oh, my God. Yeah. What? Isn't that incredible? What? Did anyway. Winston Churchill responded with LOL? <laughs> Raffle Mafau. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he didn't, he should have. Look at <laughs> You know what's funny about this, though? He writes OMG to save time. And presumably, then defines it. <laughs> and then defines it. And he's got two exclamation points. Oh, my God! <laughs> because in parentheses, because it he he needed Win, uh, Winston Churchill to know that it was it was in expression. It was the expression. Oh my God! Not just that's amazing, isn't it? Fisher, Lord Fisher, Lord Fisher. Yeah. So was Fisher his first name or his last name? Uh, I, How does that work? I'm assuming last. I like the way he just calls himself Fisher. Would I be Lord Lloyd? <laughs> Lord, Lord Lloyd. Lord Lloyd. I think that. <laughs> I mean, you would be. I own land. Lloyd. Does that make me Lord <laughs> You'd Lloyd? You'd be Lady Lloyd. Oh, Lady Lloyd. Well, I don't mind Lady Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be Lady Lord Lloyd? <laughs> All right. Put the thing back on your head. You'd be All Lord right, Farquhar. <laughs> <laughs> it's bangs. I can't. That's all I see of you over that giant microphone. It's my bangs. It's like when you like do a ponytail, but then you carefully extract two strands. 
<laughs> and let them hang. It's a really good mustouche. It is. Okay, remember we went? Why did we go? What was I wearing? We sat in chairs. There was a protest. We took a cab because we knew we'd be drinking. There was a patio, but we didn't sit on it. No. But did we go to the Velvet Glove for burgers? And then we went to Patton 5. We took a cab. And there was a yeah. protest, and we were stuck in the cab in the protest. <laughs> I was wearing my long white shirt. You remember? What, when was this? It was like a long, seven years it was ago. A long time ago. Well, I don't even remember what people were protesting. Your long white shirt, probably. <laughs> it might have been, but I think that you were wearing something not dissimilar. We kind of looked like we were, you were, don't you have, you have black pants with like a white pattern, like a face or like a thing on your pants? <laughs> they were like a wide leg pant with some sort of motif. Okay. Maybe. That's what you were wearing. And I was wearing black and white. Okay. And so we got in the cab and then we got stuck in the protest on Main Street. Okay. And people were like occupying Portage and Maine for whatever reason. Okay. For their agenda. Yeah. But I don't think it was sports related. I okay. think it was political. Oh. Then we went to the Velvet Glove. We ate Burger Week burgers. And we got their delicious rooftop iced tea. And we put shots of views in it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, wait. Iced tea or hot chocolate? It wasn't it like a boozy chocolate milk or boozy hot chocolate? Milkshakes. Milkshake. We had boozy milkshake. We had it was a boozy milkshake. But didn't we also have the iced tea because it came with the burger? Oh. Didn't yes. we have like a plethora of beverages? We had a lot of cups on the table. And we sat in that weird corner seat like against the wall. Yes. And then we went to Patton 5. I don't even remember that. <laughs> and we had cocktails, but they all had like super weird ingredients. And you were like, surprise me. Oh. And you got, you got something crazy. Yeah, okay. I remember. I do, but I do oh, say that. The everywhere. mustard drink. Yes. That was the night that we had the mustard drink. Yes. It was good. It, was, it passed the mustard. Yeah. It passed mustard? I guess you don't say that. It passed mustard. <laughs> yeah. It cut the mustard. Cut the cheese? We didn't have cheese, though. <laughs> but I remember. Do you remember that the bartender had like a broken arm or a wrist? It was like a one-handed yes. bartender. No, you know what? I, I think you could probably make up any fact, and I'm going to go, yeah, because I don't really remember <laughs> these details. <laughs> Do you remember that's the night that you wrote me into your will and bequeathed <laughs> me all your world goods? <laughs> Enjoy that one ring. Do you remember we sat and thought, podcasts haven't been invented yet, <laughs> but we should have one. <laughs> I do remember that. <laughs> I remember how good that burger was, though. Like, if only we could do a radio show. If only we could talk and have others hear us at a later date and put it on the internet. <laughs> Doesn't exist. <laughs> hey, speaking of which, what mm -hmm. did we see at the pyramid? Did we see something there? We saw something at the pyramid. Was it good? Did we like it? I think so. <laughs> we were getting local beers from the bar. Do you remember this? Yeah. Why what were we there? <gasps> it was, um, <laughs> I can't remember. It was. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what Why was were it? we there? I don't know. You remember? Yeah. The bar, the it was the pyramid, right? Yeah. The, the little bar behind us, and yeah, we got a. It was very difficult to get a table. Yeah. Why were we there? It had to have been something good. It was. Did we have other people with us? You told, yeah, no, you knew people. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so that's everywhere we go. Um, you told me about the time you were there to see me, Mama Morgenthaler. Does mm -hmm. that ring a bell? Mm -hmm. One of the many times, yes. One of the many times. <sighs> I don't remember what we saw, who we saw. It was either. a band, though. I remember seeing, like, in recent years, uh... The violin player from Dave Matthews Band was there for something. And St. Lucia played there. And 
What would we have gone to together? I don't know, but it was it was like, oh, it was an old school. I feel like it was an old school band. Okay. That did a, like a reuniony thing. Hmm. And it was quite a treat. It was a treat. Not it was memorable. so <laughs> much of a treat that we both blocked it from our memories. Uh, what was I wearing? <laughs> I could probably remember that. Um, the, uh, oh my God, what was it? See, here's the one uh, problem that I had. So you said, let's do concerts. And I was like, yeah, let's do concerts. And then I started looking at email to figure out what concert tickets I had. And you're like, I don't but I've never concerts. had tickets because you've always just taken me to stuff. This is the thing. This is the problem. She's a good friend, people. We're one of those low-budget podcasts with one channel. <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting here sharing a channel <laughs> and a laugh. I will not share shoes, <laughs> but I will share a channel with you. You don't try on my shoes? No, well, I do, but I'm not going to tell people that. <laughs> You won't share shoes? I'll share shoes. I actually legitimately won't share a helmet, though. <laughs> yeah, no. You know that the weird thing about sharing shoes is? And you put on someone's shoes and you realize how weird their feet are compared to your feet. Like, the shape is just different. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's you, not them. You think? Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Like, you've never, like, slipped on somebody's shoe and gone like, oh, mm. No. Well, they have a wide footbed. <laughs> <laughs> I got a high arch. First of all, I don't slip other people's shoes on very often. But in the on the occasion that I have, I wasn't judgy. <laughs> like when you go to a party and you see a pair of shoes that are like better than yours. <laughs> Upgrading. Right? I've heard of this. And you slip them on, but you're like, ooh, bunions. <laughs> <laughs> what is ASMR for the eyes? I don't know. Visual... <laughs> MRSR. <laughs> VSMR? What does the ASMR stand for? Audio. It's no. Mama Nimini Sensory. <laughs> rubba <lubba. laughs> Yeah, that. <laughs> what would one call ASMR but for your eyes? Is that oh, a- apparently it's the same thing because it can be triggered by sight. No, but. Oh. Okay. It can be triggered by sight, sound, or touch. Ha! Huh. I have one more surprise for you. Oh, boy. You're coming to Vancouver with me? No. <laughs> We're canceled. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. But that didn't come as a surprise, did it? No. <laughs> okay, this is my other surprise for you. Uh-huh. Oh, my gosh. There's rustling. Is it going to be a is beer? Is fully? No. Oh. This is what... Okay, you and I attended a concert. It wasn't a concert. It was a comedian, but... Bill Burr? Yeah. But... I'm surprised you remember. Do you recall that that was the first time oh, I had ever been no. iced? Oh, <laughs> Are you icing me? I'm icing you. <laughs> but that's like the giantest smirnoff off ice so I've big. ever seen. <laughs> I couldn't get small cold ones. <laughs> oh, my God. Rebecca, cue the music and save me. <laughs> How do you know which one of us is Rebecca? <clears throat> Dear God, she's wearing a name tag today. Um... Did I ever tell you about the time I baked a Smirnoff ice into a cake? What? Well, not really. I'm I'm so excited we're going to have Smirnoff ice. I low-key like it. Don't tell anyone. Am I doing the honors? Did you read? Oh, my God. Rebecca. Smash everything. Oh. Wait. Did you read your mug? Hang on. ASMR. Not, though. That was pretty good. All right. Did you read your mug? It says bad puns. That's how I roll. (laughs) (laughs) Did you give me that mug? No, but that's hilarious. (laughs) You gave me one that says, thanks for liking all my posts. That's true. (laughs) See, I remember the occasional thing. You know, I noticed, though, you don't like my posts until I direct your attention to them. It's true. (laughs) Because I don't even... Cheers. Cheers Cheers to to Best of Yay! Cheers to to concerts. Cheers. (laughs) This will be our, like, outro. (laughs) Cue the music! Uh,